Hey again, guys. Hey, I thought it would be uh, an interesting exercise uh, to go onto YouTube and to video this uh, and just to scroll through, you know, doing a search on sports cards because I haven't done that in a long time. I, I generally just stick with uh, the channels that I subscribe to and the channels that are recommended as I'm watching um, those videos. And you know, I haven't done this in a long time because it, it's a lot of, uh, you know, when everything moved to uh, the investors and everyone telling you what to buy, what the market's going to do, uh, you know, I got, I got frustrated with it and I stopped really uh, searching for new channels. And the only new channels I find are through, you know, VRs in the community or my fellow YouTubers or friends uh, recommending uh, newer, newer channels you know, on collecting in, uh, on here. Uh, so I wanted to, I wanted to kind of go through and see what is on YouTube right now. And of course, the first thing we have is an ad for sports card investor there. And, uh, here we go. Dan, the card man, 90% of numbered cards are going to zero hand in his face. I guess he's, uh, responding to sports card dad there. Oh, they're in Amish country, selling a ton of sports cards. Um, this is part four of a series on how to resell on Com C. Got some box breaks. Where's the card? Hobby heading. Ten most valuable 1978 tops. My man Wade Boggs fan. Hey John, you're doing well to come up here uh, this early. You too, midlife sports cards, because uh, you can see who dominates uh, dominates here uh, is uh, these things, the five hottest sports cards, selling ten thousand dollars in sports cards at the Burbank Card Show day one. What sports cards to buy now with five hundred dollars? You definitely should not buy things you like. You should buy what he's telling you to buy. Oh, more top five. What did we buy? Oh, here we have beginner tips and we have the O face. You gotta have the O face. People won't listen to you if you don't have the O face. This is actually really, um, these, uh, these com C's uh, on how to sell there, that's probably very beneficial to uh, a lot of people on here who uh, want to sell off some cards or doubles or whatever. I'll have to, uh, I started to watch that often. Check more into it, although I, I don't sell cards, so um, I try to support. Uh, my man in card Nito here uh, with his shorts opens a lot of uh, boom era cards. Got some drama here. Yeah, more sports card investor. Unlicensed cards, are they the future? What do you think, guys? The man who started it all. These sports cards are about to crash, sell ASAP. Football cards are about to crash, sell now. The dangers of modern sports cards. Hmm. I never really thought about that before. I'll have to check that out. $100,000 sports card collection. Sports cards once again. History of T206. Finally, we have a video on actual cards. The rise, fall, and rise again of baseball cards. That was a year ago. What are we repeating? All right, let's go down here. $80,000 card pickup. Zero risk sports card investing. Zero risk. Man, I wish I could buy my stocks that way. $5,000 deal. $10,000 PSA reveal. How to start sports card investing. You only need $100.
Now, how much money could you possibly make investing $100? Think about that. <laughs> five steps to prep your cards. Or should we say five steps to alter your cards? Sammy Thunder, that was a good video. Rookie cards are unattainable for a lot of people. Or you got to be very, very, very patient. Uh, here's an intense $13,575 trade. Now, this is not just a normal trade. It's an intense trade. And we know that it's extra intense because it's capitalized. Hunting for kabooms. Here you go. Uh, we have a guy dressed up like Santa Claus, Jeff. Um, and we wonder why kids want his autograph. Another O face. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Some things I watched there. $15,000 grading reveal. All right, 325. We're getting back to Earth. Best day of his life. Nice. Happy for that kid. Yeah, we know there's a problem with those. Oh, top five in baseball investments. For 2022, oh, I gotta watch this. I gotta see if they came true. A lot of you guys might not have heard his name, but he's one of the top prospects overall in all of baseball right now. We got Corbin Carroll's first Bowman autograph raw. We're taking a look at that. And it's up 104% in the last 365 days this card started at 102 bucks. And now this card is selling for $209. It was selling as high as 350, which would have brought a return of 242%. That was false advertising. It says top five baseball card investments, not top one. Top three sports cards to invest in long term. He's crossing out to Michael Jordan and he's giving approval to Babe Ruth. Man, that is cutting edge stuff. Why didn't I ever think to invest in Babe Ruth? Hey, we're talking sports cards with Trevor Lawrence. Why not? His cards are among the most overpriced in the hobby. Nice face. Is it just me or does he look like a stripper in that police uniform? Breaker scams gone wild. I, I guess that's the look he's going for. Okay, I had to take a little break, but I'm back. Spending $20,000 in 24 hours. Mojo's got his mojo on. He's got that bank. He has one day to spend 8,000. His girlfriend made a big mistake. Oh, another O face, spending $20,000. Another sports card investor ad. Gary V. Now there's a guy that knows what's going on. How to list cards on eBay. How to grade and clean sports cards. There you go. Shocking miss. Six million dollar Michael Jordan rookie cards fail to hit. Now that's uh, intriguing there. Got epic trades. I bought $50,000 to the Burbank card show. Good for you. More Amish country. Spending a hundred thousand dollars in five hours. That'd be fun. There's no way sports cards are worth that much. J-Mac, yeah, it's hard to believe. Epic fail, losing 10,000 in 24 hours with a big smile on his face about it. 
Look at this. Hmm, the worst sports card to buy. Man, I gotta see. Single worst card to buy, and buying this card has lost me so much money. It is ridiculous, and I'm making this video so you don't lose a ton of money like I did when I first started buying and selling sports cards because it was a tragic mistake I made, and I've seen so many people lose so much money. What is the single worst card to buy, okay? Well, first, let me explain how sports cards works. So the way sports cards works and the way how these expensive cards come into existence is exactly how you think. People open up packs and boxes and some people get lucky and hit these expensive cards. Let me give you an example. So right now- So cards come from May packs? 2023, and Kenny Pickett's good cards, his good football cards, recently came out in the, in the last few months. In April- Oh, you better not May, talk smack on my boy. Cards just came out, right? So people will get into breaks and open up packs. What a break is, is let's say, for example, you have a box that's worth a thousand dollars. It's not too All easy right, I to find- fast forward through this. Why am I explaining that? Because it's important as to what I'm about to say. So people open up these packs and boxes and when these cards come out, people get very excited, especially newer collectors and people who love the Pittsburgh Steelers. They just want to buy Kenny Pickett. And since his cards are just coming out, there's a lot of excitement, which means there's a lot of demand, which means his prices go crazy high, okay? And in the coming weeks, after Man, I bought all my Kenny Pickett's for next to nothing. Cards are inflated when they first hit the market. Now, can you buy a card right away, Get go get it graded and make money? Probably, but it is a big risk. So just to give you a math example, let's say you had a Kenny Pickett card that just came out. And it's all right, what's the mistake? I made it in the past. Let's go to my computer. All right, so what am I talking about exactly? So this is an example of Kenny Pickett, one of his prism cards, okay? Just one variation of his cards. And this is when it came out about in March, late March, March 25th. Okay. And you he lost me. Blind card reveal. Those are popular, are they not? Oh, I remember this video. He opened up a $20,000 pack of cards. And if I recall correctly, didn't get much of anything. If I, also, if I recall correctly, he didn't pay for those cards. I, I questioned that. I think they, they uh, did it for the clicks. Oh, Jeff has his son doing the O face. My God. Is there no humanity? 12 hours straight at a sports card show. I've done that at casinos. I can't say I did it at a sports card show. He bought every card at his local sports card shop? Why didn't you just buy the shop, dude? Bought a huge $5,000 collection. He bought every box at Target. Well, you know what? He looks happy, so God bless him. Okay, he bought a risky $1,000 card. I don't know why you'd want to buy a risky card. Okay, there's Jeff flipping at the National. Here we have another classic O-Face. I got to end it on that. I mean, it doesn't get, let me zoom in. It doesn't get any better. Then the Jeff Wilson O-Face. <laughs> oh, this was a blast. Hey, thanks for watching.